Hello, and welcome to our Pixel Bandits Let's Play tribute to the late great Sir Terry Pratchett. He may have left this mortal plane last month, but will be in our hearts and libraries for eternity. Episode 1 here runs through the introduction clip for the series, so stay for the story or skip for the walkthrough. Either way, we'll see you soon. Share vegetable, and it showed us the, the possibly a parsnip or a cucumber. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember the words. They were really, really. Now I can't remember that either. What is that word for something that's clever and short? Damn! It's 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 like what you make helmets out of. Ah, not tin. I can't say that a phrase of mine was tinny. Ironic, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pithy. That's the word. The thong was really pithy. <laughs> I don't know which thong. What are you going on about songs for? Hey, okay. what was that? Over there, in the donkey cart park. <laughs> no, it was something. Let's go and see. <laughs> no, it's not dangerous. It's the start of the game. They can't kill us off yet. Come on, trust me. <laughs> All I'm gonna do is look. Well, this is a pretty poor job. I think I can dismantle it. Uh. Nearly a catastrophe. <laughs> Don't sweat it, pal. We've got nine minutes and seven seconds left. You know what we could do? We could drive this thing out of here. <laughs> oh, damn. No donkey. Oh, you could pull it. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. Looks like we're going to have to do it the old fashioned way. <laughs> Uh, couldn't be simpler. Oh, I'm thinking we should turn the green flask. What do you think? Maybe the red? Let's turn the green flask then. Uh, it's just a hunch. Remember the time in the high energy facility when I turned the yellow flask and blew everything up? Right, so I'm turning the red flask then. What? Did I say green? Well, I meant red. Look, we can do it your way if you... Look, I'm sure, OK? You ready? Aren't you going to miss all this stuff when they stop making these games? Aren't you just going to miss it all? I'm turning the flask. There, you see? Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Grab the cat, gangway! Take cover! Well, the animation budget's increased at least. Well, of course that's a good thing. It means they haven't spent as much on plot, doesn't it? They've probably halved the number of insane object puzzles for a start. <clears throat> Sorry, I mean clever, natural thinking exercises, of course. <laughs> Trust me, I've been through this sort of thing before. There's a place you're always welcome That's as nice as it can be Everyone can get in 
Cause it's absolutely free That's death No need to take a breath Just lie around all day With not a single bill to pay Hooray, that's death No more sicknesses or flu If you've lived beyond your means you can die beyond them too, boo hoo. Well, the greatest and the finest mm, have already died. Why not simply join them on the other side? That's death. Say farewell to all your bills, rip up all your wills, and pop your final pills. Amen, that's death It's a tater tate with pain If you're not feeling great Then it's the best way to lose weight Mate Nothing here to hurt you No one's here to nag Come die with me If your life's a drag Gentlemen and fellow wizards. Here's looking at your bottom. Up your eye. Huh. Pull the other one. It's got strange knobbly bits on. Happy Hogswatch Day. Thank you. Uh, uh, colleagues, we are gathered here today for the final departure party of our dear, soon-to-be-departed comrade, the wizard, Windle Poons. Hooray! Good old Windle, don't forget to ghost right. Three, two, one, zero! What? Nothing. That's it. I hope. Right, everybody, our funeral at 2.30, then drinks and ham rolls in the main hall at 3. Hey, uh, what's happening? Call this service, do you? I'm dead, I am. I demand to be taken away to a better life, as per contract. Oi. Things were different in my day. You died properly. Not like the deaths you get nowadays. He... 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 he says he's not dead. I am dead! But I'm still bloody ambulatory! No, you're not. You're fooling no one but yourself, you know. Hmm... well, he, he looks dead. 
smells dead. Of course, he always did, though. And I suppose my word doesn't count for anything around here. I can't be dead if I'm still talking, now can I? Look, old chap. It's our considered professional view that you are an extinct wizard. Your opinion doesn't count because you're dead. Oh, yeah, good point. Well, I suppose I'll just sit here then, shall I? I suppose it takes a while. So, um, how is death, um, actually? See any, um, white lights, you know, tunnels, girls with harps? Oh, yes, please. I'll take two. No? Uh, if this is heaven, I wish I'd done wicked things when I was alive. What's happening to me? Uh, well, it, it seems that your body's dead, but your soul's still in... well, in residence. Well, I'm not hanging about here for the rest of my afterlife. I've had hard life, Arts Chancellor. I'm entitled to a bit of paradise. I've read about it. Young women and wine and whatnot. Look, your life's over. You're not supposed to moan about it. And definitely not supposed to contemplate any... any... Uh, whatnot. Uh, who's responsible for this? Where's death, then? This is outrageous. You, you, you can't have a soul hanging about a deceased body like that. Why not? It's unhygienic. Yeah, there's, there's food laid out. We can't have him near the nibbles. The health inspectors will be on to us. Yes, yes, good point. Now, compose yourself, Windle. You can't decompose here. I shall have to ask you to move along. Oh, comes to something when a man can't even drop stone dead in peace. Eternal rest, eternal rest, is it? Well, I'm not going to take this lying down. I'm off to find myself a nice shallow grave. There's been too much of this sort of thing lately. Rincewind? Rincewind! Yeah. Uh. Ah, Rincewind. There you are. Now, as you're aware, there have been some very odd goings on in this city of late. I am referring, of course, to the sudden disappearance of death. Oh, they're dying, but their souls aren't being taken away. They're dead and alive at the same time, and now it's happened to poor Windle. Death's gone, and we need to summon him back. So, uh, here you go. We need to perform the rites of Ashkent. I suppose you have a list of mysterious ingredients that I now have to run off and collect. What? How did you know that? I just had a dreadful suspicion. All right, so what have we got to find? Well, it's a rush job, so just the bare minimums will do. We need three equal-sized sticks of wood and four cc's of mouse's blood. It shouldn't take you more than a few minutes. Bets anyone? Um... What is it now? Let's just say that, uh, we needed more than the bare minimums. And not to say that I'm questioning your judgement. I'm just, uh, planning for the future, is all. Well, the rest is all just flash and style. This is a death rite, after all. You know the routines. 
A bit of sparkle and glitter in the air, vile Charles stench erupting from the tomb, and lovely dribbly candles. That sort of thing. None of which we will need at all. That's right, just the wood and the mouse's blood. There never seems to be any way of getting a decent moment's rest around this place. So, that's the intro. We'll see you back in episode 2 for the start of the gameplay and walkthrough elements in Act 1, the right stuff. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all of our episodes. We've been Pixel Bandits and you've been awesome. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.